And now back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic and your host, Bobby Likas. And welcome back to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. A special surprise, as I mentioned earlier, folks. Uh, we're going to have with us a gentleman that's going to tell us all about the new mid-engine Corvette. I'm really excited. Meanwhile, call with your car questions at 888 Clinic. But take note that all new mid-engine 2020 Corvette Stingray is coming to a Chevy dealer near you. The vehicle is starting to make the rounds at auto shows across the country. So we thought we'd bring to you a little information, sort of as a, a teaser. Joining us today on the Car Clinic Hotline from the Orange County Auto Show in California, is Shad Balch, Chevrolet's Western Region Communication Manager. Shad, I'm really excited to have you join us. Welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Thank you, Bobby. It's great to be back with you again. Well, thanks for being here. Okay, here we go. Share with our Car Clinic listeners and viewers what makes this the best Corvette ever. Well, it is indeed the best Corvette ever. And, you know, when you talk to some of the engineers and designers uh, in Michigan who worked on this eighth-generation Corvette, they will tell you that despite how amazing the seventh-generation Corvette was, especially the, the ZR1 high-performance Corvette, they engineered that car, that front-engine car, to its maximum. So you couldn't get much more performance or speed out of a front-engine Corvette. And they convinced our leadership, look, if we're going to do a next Corvette that's got to be faster better, higher performing car, we got to reconfigure it. We got to start over and we got to put the engine behind the driver. And so that's what we have. We have the first mid engine Corvette ever. Um, this is the eighth generation. But you know, it's interesting. The Corvette was always destined to be a mid engine car. Back in the 60s, we should started showing concepts of what a mid engine Corvette could look like. So, you know, cut to, to 40 years later and we finally have one. Well, I'm really proud about that. And let's talk about the redesign just briefly. What does it mean for weight distribution, handling, and, of course, performance? Well, those are the three things right there that you, uh, you just touched on that take this car to the next level. When you put the engine behind the driver, you get to get perfect weight balance. That is, the front weighs exactly as much as the, the rear weighs, and that just keeps the car completely stable on a track. But in addition to that, when you move the weight of the engine to the rear of the car, you have maximum traction capability, too. So if you have a lot of horsepower, but you're sitting there spinning the wheels and tires, you're not going anywhere. But if you add that weight from the front to the back, those tires will stick. And when you hit the throttle, the car is going to, you know, it's going to scoot out of its way. This car, the, the base car with the, uh, the performance exhaust, it starts at 59.95, and it'll do 194 miles per hour. That's unheard of. Oh, oh, absolutely unheard of. And, and I'll tell you what I really like about this. Number one, uh, the, the starting price of a vehicle. Uh, who would have believed that we would ever enjoy a mid-engine car that didn't cost $150,000, much less in the, in, the, in, the, in the high 50s? Uh, let, let's talk about the, uh, the road ability uh, on the track and, and on the street uh, on the new uh, mid-engine. And folks, we're talking with Shad Baltz, the Western Region Communications Director for Chevrolet. So give us a, your, your sort of a seat-of-the-pants rundown. So that's one of the best things about Corvette, and especially in, in the recent generations, people remark about how amazing it is to, if you, if you change some of the driver settings from comfort to track or touring to sport, the car really transforms to an entirely different machine based on whatever driving situation you're in. So, for example, if, you wanna, if you're just driving on regular streets and you want a comfortable ride, you turn it down to touring mode and it's it, it it drives amazingly well and it doesn't jar your teeth and it doesn't feel like um anything else but electric vehicle but then when you want to take it to a track you turn that dial to track mode and all of a sudden you're in a race car and you're able to take turns faster and harder than you think the the car will do uh it, you know the, the suspension stiffens up the steering gets a little bit stiffer the shift points in the transmission become a little bit delayed so that you have maximum performance when you hit the throttle. The parameters of all of these different things that change when you adjust the, the knob on, based on your driving style or what road condition you're on, that is what sets this car apart. It can be a very comfortable cruiser or it can be a high-performance track car. 
Well, from what I've read and seen online about the vehicle, I have my own ideas as to really what it delivers, but I'd like for you to share with our car clinic listeners and viewers a little bit about the new body and the interior design and the technology. I mean, does the 2020 Corvette Stingray have the latest bells and whistles uh, and, and the safety technology that we are all growing to expect? It does. Uh, the new Corvette has all of the safety technology, all of the comforts and convenience that, you know, that Corvettes have had uh, into this new model. And that's probably the best part because we've, we've actually added on to that. So when you look inside the cockpit, to the cockpit, you'll see that it's a very driver-centric design. And that means that when our designers laid out all the buttons, all the switches, all the screens, everything that you need to operate, it's all facing the driver. It's all very convenient for the driver to maximize the driving experience. And when you show photos of this, you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's almost like there's a divide between the driver and the passenger because there's so much focus on making sure the driver has everything at in eyesight and at their fingertips. Has built-in Wi-Fi. It is, uh, has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto cap capability. All of that technology that uh, we first pioneered in earlier Corvettes, this one, of course, has as well. And then with you, when you have a mid-engine design, it's behind you. So our designers are able to really maximize the front view for the driver without any obstruction. So unlike previous Corvettes where, we, you know, you have the, the long nose that has to house the big engine, mm -hmm. This one is, it looks entirely different. I mean, you're able to have a very clear line of sight out the front of the car in a way that you've never seen. So f for those who want to make this vehicle uh, a, like a track vehicle, uh, is there a racing or track mode that actually measures performance and lap time so that you can go out, flip the switch and do your thing and then have a recording of it? There sure is, yeah. It's, uh, there's two technologies in this car to do exactly what you described. So first is you turn the car into track mode. And that sets all the parameters to, to allow you to get around the track as fast as you can. And it's everything from suspension to the shift patterns to uh, the way the car steers, all of that. There is a system called the PDR. PDR stands for Performance Data Recorder. And this is built into the Z51 package if you add it into it. PDR is exactly what you described. We have a bunch of cameras built into the car. And uh, it's... A, a system that actually tracks the way that you're driving on any particular track. So if you want to improve your driving skills, you turn on the PDR at, well, while you're sitting at the, at the green flag, and when you go, the car will actually tell you, no, you can go a little bit faster here. You can actually, you don't have to hit the brakes so hard in this turn. It's, it's, it can work as a training module to help you drive faster, but then also it's just cool to have afterwards. I mean, you have this amazing video of you blowing around the track in your new Corvette. I just can't, as you were, I was visualizing what you were saying. I only have two more questions. And of course, the last question is going to be, well, maybe three, uh, the pricing. But uh, I'd like to shift gears literally now. One of the attributes and the assets and the designs that I love about this car is the dual clutch transmission. And folks, for your information, everybody, blink your eye. The blink of an eye is 200 milliseconds or two-tenths of a second. Uh, as I understand, Shad, this vehicle has, with the transmission, the dual-clutch transmission, can shift gears from one to the next gear in under uh, 100 milliseconds. Yes, that is true, and that's very important for this car. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of debate about uh, the DCT, the new DCT, the first time ever that we put this into, into a Corvette. There's no manual transmission option, but the DCT does have a manual paddle shift to give you that experience but you're right the the rapid shift time of the transmission in this new the dct in the new corvette is faster than any human can possibly do so if you want to win on the track this is the way to do it with this dct and when you pair that to the 6.2 liter v8 engine in the back 495 horsepower it is a rocket zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds now that, that's amazing and folks just for your information uh it is virtually impossible for a human being to clutch a car pull a gear shift and shift to one gear to the next in the in three times the the the, the time that this vehicle can go so the blink of an eye is twice as long as a shift point uh I, i'm really uh enthused about that and as i understand just one more little technical question it has a wet dual clutch versus the dry dual clutch 
much. So the smoothness and the control is superior. Is that not correct? That's correct. And also that com- what comes along with that is this just amazing snap sound. When you're under throttle and you, you hear the transmission shift, it is just this clap of thunder and you just can't help but get a grin on your face. <laughs> I'm grinning right now. Okay. All right. What's the price? So the base Stingray starts at fifty nine nine ninety five. So you get to pick up a, a brand new mid engine Corvette fifty nine ninety five. It'll do zero to sixty in two point eight seconds and one hundred ninety four miles per hour. Then uh, we uh, actually just this week, last night in fact, we unveiled the first hard top convertible Corvette, and that adds about seventy five hundred onto the onto the price tag. But that will come out uh, end of first quarter next year. So more news on Corvette just this week when we showed the convertible last night. And when will the vehicle be on the showroom floors for everyone to take a look and go pick out their colors? Yeah, good question. So as you mentioned at the beginning of this interview, the the auto show season is well underway. I'm at the Orange County Auto Show right now, and I'm looking at a Zeus bronze gorgeous mid-engine Corvette. So the cars are, are on the circuit for the auto shows. They will be in dealers probably around November, December of this year. Uh, But definitely you can, I mean, dealers are taking orders now, so they have all of our configurators, all the information you need now. Okay. I love it. I want it. Where can I go online and can I build one online now for order? We have an all new configurator that it's great. It allows you to totally customize your car. You can take a printout of it. Save it as a photo for yourself to, so that you can get excited about what you've just ordered. Chevrolet.com, and everything that you'll ever need about Corvette is, is on that site. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, Shad Balch, Western Region Communication for Chevrolet, a lucky auto guy that gets to drive this car and, and really share his experience with it. And we will we'll hear more as we go along. Shad, thank you so much for joining us on Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Really appreciate your time and the update. And we're excited about the new mid-engine 2020 Corvette. It's always a pleasure talking with you, Bobby.